they share the amount of load between themselves. So this is the replica of what we did in Ibadan. Here we have two units of 6 kilowatt inverter with one unit of 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery. They are both, you know, 48 volt system. And uh, this system will be powering, uh, I think, 30 desktop, which I'll be showing you guys, and some TVs, lighting point, and also fan. I know some of you have already fallen in love with this, but one thing is that you don't want to bring out money and do something like this for your houses or for your offices. So here are some of the desktop that will be working from this system. So we just put like four on to just test run the system. And this four desktop is like each one is consuming about 80 to 90 watts. We have some fans running. Uh, the school is on vacation. That's why uh, the place is empty. There are no students for now. But these are some of the gadgets that will be working on this very system, which I just showed you guys. Here we have 30 desktop, we have some fans, and you know, I think in the ground floor, we have about uh, 24 TVs or more than. And there are other loads also that will be working from this system. The reason why we use a 10 kilowatt hour lithium battery and uh, two units of uh, 6 kilowatt inverter is because the amount of load that will be consumed here is around 8,000 watts. So here we use 16 units of 500 watt solar panels, which is 8,000 watts. And uh, mostly the appliances that will be on will be consuming at least 5,000 watts. And uh, the major time that this system will be working will be from 8 a.m. down to 5 p.m. in the evening because this is like an office because it's a school. And uh, I've shown you guys before, before we came inside, you've seen how big the school is. So we agreed that some amount of load will not be on at the same time. So at maximum, they will be consuming like 5,000 to 5,500 watts uh, of energy from this very system. And the reason why this will sustain them is because most of their working hours is during the day. At night, this system will be resting. So majorly, it will be working in the afternoon. That is why they don't need much battery bank here. They need more solar panels than the battery bank. There is something I just observed with uh, the system. I know some of you have been asking this question. How do I know or how do the inverter know which is the master and which is the slave? Now, if the both inverters are off and you decide to put on this guy first, it will be the master because he's the one you put on first. Then maybe uh, the, uh, uh, another time you decided to uh, on this guy first, this guy will become master while this guy will become slave. So any inverter you put on first will become the master, the other one will become the slave. So they interchange between themselves. Maybe today this guy will decide to become the master because you put it on first. Tomorrow this one will become master because you put it on first. So any of them can be master at any time, depending on which you put on first. Yeah, unless I forget, I know some of you may want to ask, what if I decide to put this other one off and uh, allow this guy to work? Will there be any effect? There will be no effect on your inverters. This one can decide to work independently without this guy being on. The only thing that makes them uh, work together is the load sharing. They share the amount of load between themselves. For example, if you are consuming 6,000 watts or let's say 5,000 watts uh, in your house, and you decided to, ah, since my load is now up to 7,000 watts, because this inverter, one can handle up to 6,000 watts uh, load capacity. Then you decide to say, okay, uh, since I'll be using 5,000 watts load, I don't have to put the second inverter on. Will there be any effect on this inverter or on this guy? There won't be any effect on your inverter. If this one is off and this one is on, this one can handle the 5,000 watts. Now, this is how uh, the parallel system work. They do load sharing. The load sharing is that if this one is on and this one is on and you're consuming 5,000 watts, if this guy is the master, since he's the master, it will be uh, uh, contributing at least uh, 3,000 watt power to the amount of load you are consuming. Why this guy will be giving 2,000 watt power? Then if you put this one off, if you can see this inverter is on now, come close. This inverter is on, this guy also is on, and both of them are giving out an output. Then if I decide, let's check the amount of energy that this uh, guy is giving out, or that is being consumed from this one. Okay, we have 5% energy being consumed from this presently. 5% load does... Uh, 5% load, that's 365 watts. Now, we'll check the amount of load that is being consumed from this guy, then we'll off this one to see how much energy will be consumed from this. So let's check it out. So this guy is contributing at least 2,800 and something watts. That's like, um, that's like, that's like 
four percent energy is being consumed from this guy why five percent energy is being consumed from this guy so i'm going to put this one off to see the amount of energy that will be consumed from this guy whether i'm saying the right thing or the wrong thing now let's do it so this one is off now let's see the amount of energy that this one will be giving out now you can see immediately the amount of energy increased to 10 percent initially this guy was contributing at least five percent and this guy was contributing four percent immediately i put this one off this one decided to give out the nine or ten percent energy that is being consumed now you see the amount of load the amount of load has increased to around uh 541 watts that is the idea of parallel when when you parallel them together they share their power so so that is the idea of paralleling two inverters they get to share their power whether this one is off and this one is on there will be no effect on this and there will be no effect on this so if you are scared that maybe you have two inverters or three inverters connected in parallel and you are scared of put putting just one on nothing will go wrong with your inverter your inverter will still work fine there is no bad effect on your inverter if you want something like this don't forget to contact us our number is on the screen you can easily reach out to us and if you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel